Nobody has seen a wormhole. Nobody has produced one. Nobody knows if it is just a beautiful moth, but without a physical reality. Well, we'll take the world's best quantum computer and see if we can map that into building a wormhole. And then it became just at the edge of what's possible. I think uh, the discovery of the Higgs, which came about 10 years ago, was up to that point the most exciting point of my entire career. This, to me, is equally exciting. It can begin to explore quantum states that are very hard to realize in nature directly. Now the wormhole becomes traversable. It opens. You really can go through. In 1935, a seminal journey began as Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen crafted a theory illuminating a concept that intertwined two disparate space-time fragments, the Einstein-Rosen bridges, or more evocatively, wormholes. These theoretical tunnels between black holes offered a tantalizing glimpse into interstellar shortcuts, yet they remained frustratingly non-traversable, imploding and disintegrating too swiftly for anything to traverse. In the same epoch, another paper birthed into existence by Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen, EPR, introduced the world to quantum entanglement, an eerie phenomenon that tethers particles across vast cosmic distances, their states invariably interlinked. Paradoxically, Einstein, disturbed by this spooky action at a distance, failed to reconcile entanglement with his gravitational theories setting the stage for a decades-long enigma intertwining quantum mechanics and general relativity. For years, the two papers existed in parallel universes of scientific discourse, until an audacious claim in 2013 by Juan Maldetena and Lenny Suskin stitched them together with a simple equation, ER equals EPR. This bold hypothesis declared wormholes and entanglement as two faces of the same mysterious coin, with entangled black holes inherently generating a connecting wormhole, forming a coherent quantum gravity picture and suggesting duality. A single physical phenomenon, describable in two seemingly unrelated mathematical languages. Pondering Maldacena's ideas, a query hung in the cosmos. Could traversable wormholes exist? While many scientists contemplated these exotic space-time configurations with skeptical fascination, believing practical realization improbable, the unexpected unfolded. Quantum mechanics, with its allowance for negative energy, opened a celestial door thought permanently sealed. Daniel Jafaris showcased that introducing a negative energy shockwave could stabilize a wormhole, permitting matter to journey from one end and emerge from the other, turning a theoretical daydream into a tangible possibility. Liking the video or learning something new Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating content you don't want to miss. In the sprawling cosmos of experimental physics, a revelatory idea emerged between an experimentalist and their colleague, Maria Spiropoulou, at the California Institute of Technology. Could the elusive concept of wormholes be actualized using quantum mechanisms within a laboratory setting? Their exploration was drawn towards a profound system the quantum computer. This unparalleled machine, operating not in binary, but through the intricate language of qubits, allowed for a wealth of correlations via quantum entanglement, and potentially, a way to bridge uncharted realms of the extravagant quantum world yet to be explored. Entranced by their time at Google Quantum, the experimentalists discovered that Google's device was perhaps the most adept quantum computer available housing its spellbinding functionalities within a diminutive chip where the entanglement happened amidst superconducting aluminum fragments. Acquiring access to this quantum marvel, a team formed among Maria, Daniel, Joe, and the experimentalist, conjuring a proposal to observe a wormhole using the quantum computer. Crafting the proposal required a particular kind of physics audacity, essentially holding steadfastly to one's convictions amidst uncertainty the quintessential scientific approach of let's see what happens prevailed as while the team suspected the experiment may not yield success, the knowledge garnered would undeniably provide valuable insights. When the proposal was presented, 
the response was not dismissive skepticism, but an encouraging, okay, you are crazy, let's do it. Through the lens of holographic duality, the team envisioned creating a quantum iteration of the system, developing a set of entangled qubits evolved to mimic the physics of a gravitational wormhole. On the quantum computer, a qubit would journey through the wormhole, emerging on the other side, if all went as theorized. Addressing the theoretical physicists' preconceptions about wormholes and quantum computers, a seemingly insurmountable hurdle presented itself. To realize this wormhole in a quantum computer would ostensibly require a quantum computer a decade more advanced than those currently available. Yet, undeterred, they pressed on. The task of running a theoretically prepared wormhole on a quantum computer was immense necessitating the implementation of a vast system, prompting physicists to implement coarse graining, preserving essential gravitational features while discarding superfluous elements. Struggling against the monumental complexity for over a year, a peculiar yet promising idea arose, rewriting it as a neural network, which, while unconventional, transformed the wormhole's many parameters into neural network weights. This repurposing shaped the dynamics observed to correspond to wormhole dynamics into a generic machine learning problem. Astonishingly, through machine learning, the initial system, consisting of 210 terms, was distilled into a mere seven, maintaining its original integrity while being compacted into a manageably small system. It was at this moment that the impossible seemed suddenly within reach. Late into the night, Monitoring the quantum circuits for the anticipated peak, a signal of the qubit traversing the wormhole, initial data appeared noisy. Skepticism lingered as the peak began to stabilize. Could this be the manifestation of a wormhole? The excited whispers of potential discovery fluttered among the team, leading to the exhilarating pronouncement, I think we have a wormhole, guys. From incredulity to excitement, the realization dawned that they had witnessed a wormhole, navigating a once inconceivable journey from theoretical physics to tangible reality through the unimaginable power of quantum computing. The experimentation with Google's quantum computer unlocks a metaphysical passage, providing a fragment of the enigmatic wormhole within the microcosmic realm of qubits. Through a meticulously crafted process, a pulse of negative energy is deployed into the wormhole, rendering it traversable, and a qubit enters, embarking on a chaotic dissemination of information across the quantum system through intricate entanglement. The quantum information then refocuses onto a singular qubit, which exits as the wormhole constricts. This startling experiment, which was expected to only make incremental advancements toward understanding wormholes, and their possible realization on quantum computers, surprisingly sprouted a viable outcome. Peering through a hypothetical quantum eye, one wouldn't witness a space-time ripple, but rather a synchronization of expected physics from both gravitational and quantum perspectives. This phenomenon essentially birthed a tangible nexus between the worlds of quantum physics and gravitational theories opening an exploratory pathway to understand quantum gravity and the allied concepts, like wormholes, that have captivated physicists since Einstein. The experimental achievement lends credence to the ER-EPR conjecture and embarks on a direct exploration of the interconnectedness between quantum entanglement and the very fabric of space. With Google's progressively capable quantum computers, this exploration is set to plunge into uncharted territories, possibly enabling physicists to unearth new understandings and knowledge where predictions might be an enigma. This new frontier in physics, much like exploring distant universes through potent telescopes or studying particle collisions with powerful accelerators, is anticipated to catalyze unimagined discoveries especially in understanding highly entangled matter previously unobservable. Approaching these realms, numerous questions arise, crafting an exploratory pathway into the quantum and cosmic unknown. The most invigorating prospects, perhaps, 
lie in the questions yet to be conceived in our scientific journey through these miniaturized quantum mechanical wormholes. So, when do you think we'll finally be able to construct a wormhole and start exploring the vast unknowns of the universe?